Blizzard put a lot of painstaking work into keeping the races in StarCraft evenly balanced so that Zerg, Protoss, and Terran could battle forever without any clear winner. Well, there is one. Two researchers from the Royal Observatory of Edinburgh, Thomas Target and Duncan Forgan, watched 500 professional matches, compiled the data, and found that there is a clear winner. So, will the swarm consume all? No. In it, they focused on macro strategies, or slowly building up an economic strength, versus micro strategies, quickly building up a fighting force and wiping other people out, then plugging it into a percolation model, which refers to graphs and the nature of connectivity within them. Said target, this can be used for case civilizations into the galaxy, but also things like bacteria into a petri dish, or water moving around objects in a river. They measured the probability of each race running each strategy and plugged it into a simulation which ran a hundred times. Specifically, they ran 100 Monte Carlo simulations, which is a complex type of algorithm used to analyze highly complicated systems. So, who's the best in the galaxy? It's Terran. So boring. By applying early pressure, they can easily wipe out Zerg and Protoss enemies, according to the study. And the study wasn't really to give people a new strategy and how to win their matches, which will probably be thrown out the window anyway with the re release of Heart of the Swarm. It's actually just to bring more awareness to statistical and scientific analysis, and they're hoping that studying video game communities like this will bring about real-world insight, like the corrupted blood incident in World of Warcraft, which was used to study real-life spread of disease. Speaking of StarCraft II, Heart of the Swarm, that is released today, featuring a new 20-mission single-player campaign starring Sarah Kerrigan, your favorite queen of blades, as she travels the universe, expands her broods, and is basically the baddest bitch in the whole world. Worlds. There will, of course, be changes to the competitive gaming world as they adapt to this new expansion. We don't know who's going to arise or who's going to fall because of that, but we do know that PETA is joining in the launch with their new campaign, Terrans for the Ethical Treatment of Zerglings, because Zerglings have feelings too. No, they don't. PETA's online marketing strategist wrote, When playing StarCraft II, I had noticed how the Zerg were treated more like animals than like other people. I couldn't help but wonder if there would be an analog to PETA in the world of StarCraft. So, do you buy PETA's latest marketing tie into StarCraft II? I don't. I will do whatever I want to the Zerglings. And will you be buying StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm to maybe make Protoss or Zerg overcome the Terran conquerors. Let me know in the comments, and I will see you next time on Nerd Alert. Outstanding. Jacked up and good to go.